Hi guys, sorry I'm late but it's Friday and I wanted to come and talk to you a minute about percussion guns for a second. Now one of my subscribers and I have been talking back and forth about lubrication and one of the things that I had mentioned in an earlier video was on my Remington about how Remingtons have a problem with the base pin is so tightly fitted to the cylinder and it doesn't have any grease grooves. And it's not exactly true but we'll get to that in a minute. And so what I had done, and this is an unloaded weapon, both of these are unloaded, is I had taken, and on my base pin right there, I took a small triangular file and I cut some shallow grooves on the top and the bottom. The opposite of that game was the idea of creating a place for grease to get into, so as the cylinder dried, it had a reservoir, so to speak. And this is a problem with the original Remingtons because the frame, the solid frame, does increase the strength of the gun, but it also has a disadvantage. It's redirecting the flash of the gases coming out the end of the chamber when you fire backwards, and so it kind of concentrates it in this area. You notice how close the axis is of the cylinder pin to the bottom of the barrel that pressure right there is extremely intense that's the reason on these remingtons they've cut it away to let that pressure go away some more but this makes a dry spot right there and what's happening is in the front of the cylinder with your small axis pin that flash actually forces in there and it forms a fouling ring right there at the beginning of the cylinder and it starts binding up the cylinder fairly quickly how quickly? That depends on a lot of things. Are you one of them that smears grease over the top of it? Then not as much. Are you one that's using wads and no grease on top? More so. Because what's happening is that lack of lubrication, the end of the cylinder starts getting to bind. Okay? Now on these Remingtons, except for this small sheriff, you can just simply pull this pin out. You can't do it on the sheriff. As you can see, it comes out here and it would even with the screw removed, it hits this uh, catch right here, and you can't take it all the way out. On the full-size uh, new model armor, you can. And what I have done in the past is take it and actually chuck it up in a drill and let it slowly turn and sit there and use a file and cut just shallow grooves around it. That'll work. But they, there is something you can do. If you turn it upside down and you look at that base pin, see there's a flat section right there. And that flat section can be coated with bore butter. And I've done this as well. You turn the gun upside down, smear the bore butter onto that, and then what you do is you retract it up in to the receiver. You put in your cylinder, still upside down, and slide it back. That will keep a reservoir there that isn't getting wiped off, so to speak. Now, a procedure that helps whenever you're going to be using this gun a lot in the field. Now, you can also use this on the shooting ranges, okay? As you've got your gun in position, let me drop the cylinder back in. Okay. I fire my last shot. Bang. Now I'm getting ready to load. My loading procedure is I bring the gun to half cock. I point the gun down and I go ahead and turn that cylinder. Why point it down? The heat of the firing has heated up this cylinder and that heat is transferred to that base pin where that lubricant is and softened it. By pointing it down and turning it, I'm allowing that by gravity to help spiral it down and recoat. Normally it's a little binding, but you'll turn it just a second and it'll free back up. That's the lubricant getting into the front. After I've done that, I normally take a rag, or if nothing else, and I'm hunting, I use my finger, and I will lay it up there on the side of that chamber, the face of the cylinder, and I will turn it and wipe off the face of the cylinder. That will reduce any fouling getting up here building up on the front. It's going to bind up in that tight, you know, gap between the cylinder and the back of the barrel. That will help greatly. But again, point it down, turn it, get the lubricant to work its way down and wipe the face of the, of the cylinder off. That's a big way to help it. Now, on my spiller and burr, this is also true on the spiller and burr. And I guess you could say it on the Ruger as well. Take and rotate the locking knob. 
retract and bring out your base pin just like oh. hang out my glasses on can't see my little mark there now the base pin is bigger diameter but it also does have a little flat right there and that's where as you can see on this one I pack a little extra lube onto it by doing that it will then give me a reservoir to pull out of whenever I go shooting and it's the same procedure whenever I get done bang I'm going to point the gun downhill and I'm going to turn the cylinder but that lubricant work its way down and I'm going to rotate over and put my finger up there I'm going to wipe off the front of the cylinder that allows me to get more shots in my shooting string without having to run dry so to speak less having to stop and break it down and clean it and more shooting okay hope this gives you some ideas guys please leave any questions or comments below and thank you very much for supporting my channel i got a bunch more stuff on cabin ball coming uh what's on the horizon i've got a bunch of bullets from kato ojama now it's cooled off here in the south where i can do accurate shooting i'm not gonna get out there with sweat running in my eyes like you saw before and i've got several different loads from that that I'm going to be testing in both the Remington Short Barrel and in my 1860 Army, as well as I've got some which will be in Stormborn, my 1861. We'll be doing chronograph test, accuracy, etc. off of that. I have also procured a cartridge conversion for all of you that have been harping on me of Blackie, when are you going to talk about cartridge conversions? That will be coming up in the near horizon. So, just stick with me. We're going to get there, guys. Till next time, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.